everybody. This is my uh, race uh, loft right here. So come on in. Let me show you guys what this loft looks like. <clears throat> so it's uh, real simple. Uh, we just got sliding doors. And uh, right now we're keeping some of the hands that are going to be flying as old birds in here. This uh, every section in here is six foot by ten. They have roughly about 70, 80 perches in there. And uh, we basically hold about 30 or 40 at the most in each. Uh, so they got plenty of perch. And then you got this loft is has got uh, six sections. Okay. Yeah. So right over here we keep um this is droppers so right over here we keep our race team that has been doing so good this year in the young bird season if you want to step on this side i'm gonna i'm gonna turn them loose and they're gonna go that way so, so here you go now you, you you can see them flying come on Yeah, right now they do. Come on, let's go. So these doors, they open by folds. Uh, I keep um, some of the baby off the porch. We don't want none of them to get out. <laughs> no, okay. So, so these are some of the. So these are the baby, some of the babies. Baby from the porches and the and, and the kiddos. The okay. These are the stock birds, the ones that I sell. It ain't many left. Uh -huh. uh, I got four. I got five more that I gotta put in another another auction, uh -huh. and then it's already another four from here committed, mm -hmm. four or five committed. Right. So it's really not many left. And this is my uh, system right here. Uh -huh. So what we were talking about earlier. So benzene live and M3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when they come in, they trap through there. The the race, those, they got three antennas. Mm -hmm. They come in and trap through there. So. And this is our flying loft. It's a small, 36 by 14. Uh, we got one. Yeah. I, I try to, I try to enjoy pigeon to the max. Uh -huh. You know. And I enjoy the one loft race. I I enjoy sending birds to one loft uh -huh. race, and I also enjoy flying in the club, yeah. socializing with the people. We got a really nice group of people in the in the Houston area, the the new club that we're that we're in. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. So and we got, you know, uh, we got time we got time to do a little bit of everything. So this is all we do. So holding that bird, Yanis, um, if I'm a new flyer, what are the things that you consider if you want to acquire that particular bird that you are holding? Um, you know, to tell you the truth, this is uh, just a random bird. We yes. Just, we just picked them off the perch. Of course. You know, what I, what I can tell you is uh, this pigeon, well, he ha definitely has a very nice wind. Okay. Um, I like it to be a little more uh, pointy. Uh, of course, I don't know what the bloodline is. Okay. But um, the bird is in shape, uh, definitely. Um, nice. Soft, and, uh, uh, soft chest. They they feel they feel ready to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. It just it's not much I can tell you about about the bloodline because I don't know what it is. Yes, but um, but the physical quality the, the physical wings. quality it is uh, it's got a it's got good good uh, structure, mm -hmm. good bent bones, a lot of um, strong you know uh, on the wings. Do you consider the the eye sign also? I uh, really don't know much about it. Yeah, uh, I, I know that uh, sometimes with uh, uh, pairing birds, I like to do like a, like a yellow eye and, uh -huh. and, and uh, a pearl eyes or any something like that. But sometimes I, I, I pair them yellow and yellow, depending mm -hmm. if I like the mating. So uh, I definitely look for balanced pigeons. Okay. So I wanna I wanna see a bird that is really balanced. Okay. Can one pin, see the, one the pin, pin tail. I always look for that strong okay. back. You know. Yeah. I don't either like it to go either up. Yeah. Or down. Yeah, not I too just, much down. No, so I just want it to be balanced. Okay. And uh, also like uh, that when I, I pass my thumb uh -huh. through the back. Okay. Like you can feel where the where the tail starts. Okay. You know, you get the you get the back, 
and then you go like this here, mm -hmm. you want to feel smooth. Smooth, no bump in there. Okay. So, so those are just one, uh, some stuff that they need to consider, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, and if uh, and if we, we look at some of my breeders, I can tell you a little bit more because, like I said, I don't know the yes. breeding of the pigeon. Yeah, we just and, randomly grabbed that and, one. And this bird is just a race bird. Yes, right that's now. correct. So we are uh, temporarily using uh, only this side of the loft. Okay. Um, I was showing you over there that we're getting a, a loft constructor for my uh, breeding program. So, so basically, uh, what we keep over here is. Uh, my my breeders we keep them on these two sections so these are your breeders yes and they don't of course they don't mix okay. they don't mix with uh, with the one love birds but uh we're we're keeping them in here for right now just temporarily mm -hmm. and uh they do you can come in here they do get the same uh they get the same treatment as uh as the one love birds okay so meaning that they get the same feed they get the uh, pretty much the same water sometimes okay. sometimes they get the vitamins and stuff like that so but these are my breeders um birds that i got uh like i said from my foundation breedings birds that i brought over from europe and that's a little bit of everything um and of course the most important birds are those two birds <laughs> the droppers the droppers yeah uh, they got more over here yeah and then uh, they're also the uh the breeding droppers so we keep them with our breeders oh okay so they stay healthy year round uh-huh and uh and uh, you can see they got they got really nice feathers and everything I know. there that is a, a, a nun right or satinette satinette and satinette. cross with uh uh ball head they call it uh-huh the ones that are like those uh, those yeah that those, one those yeah. are the ball hair ball head i really don't know much about fancy pigeons yeah they just that uh uh like i said we keep them we keep them healthy with the with the breeders so they they stay with the breeders and yeah. uh they get everything the breeder gets and they stay healthy see nice wind nice that's a 500 mile wind right there <laughs> look at that wind yeah so my older son he loves breeding them so he put them the the breed and uh, and the, you have your Porsche here, right? Yeah, yeah. It's um, got my Porsche. Uh, all the stuff that is doing good on one loft race. Look, look at that one. It caught my attention again, Yanis. That one. <laughs> the one up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, actually a uh, it's a it's a Porsche Gladiator, uh -huh. and uh, this is a, a one that I that I kept for myself this year. So it's my breeding. Uh, mm -hmm. It's from it's from 2023. Okay. So so this year it's a young cock, and uh, I'm just gonna keep them for breeding. Nice. So it's a gladiator, it's morphing, huh? gladiator and porch on his last flight. Nice. So uh, his father is a, a gladiator, uh -huh. a double grandson of the gladiator, and the mother is a double granddaughter of the Porsche 911. Oh wow. So gladiator is the base of the Porsche 911. Wow. And. Uh, and uh, I, I selected him from uh, from a group of birds, and I wanted to keep uh, one out of this pair, mm -hmm. in particular because um, some of my uh, uh, clients that got babies or full brothers to this mm -hmm. bird, they've been winning in a one loft race. Well, I should them. have the opportunity to hold that one. Let me yeah. let me give you the camera. Oh wow! Look at this one. So now I'm the cameraman now. <laughs> Romer is gonna. So this is a big bird, but it's it, like it is it's so a little bit bigger. Uh, uh, it's, it's more to me. He's um, kind of uh, large, a uh -huh. little bit, or but bigger. That's, doesn't want to be held. Yeah, no, they're feisty. Yeah. So, but you know what I like is that even though it's big, it's light. not heavy. It's light. Yeah. yeah everybody. It's big, everybody says the same thing about those birds. Look at this. This is big, but it's soft. Like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. His father is also a, a big old bird too. Wow. But he, uh, he's been breeding. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I just had a, in the California Classic, I had a, a brother to that one on the father's side uh, scoring the money for me uh, yeah. just uh, uh, two days ago. Nice. Well, congratulations for that. That's yeah. nice. And now he's gonna show us the Porsche. 
That was one of them, but that's one of them. But, but not, up not and the, down. Not, not the direct. Uh, not the not the import. So here we go. All right. Okay. We'll start off with uh, this guy right here. Anyway, this is uh, uh, Prince Port USA. Okay. This bird right here is the uh, grandfather to the Royal Cup. Wow. One hundred twenty thousand dollar winner. Oof. Like four days ago. Seriously. The grandfather. Yep. Well, when you grab this pigeon, he's a little more, uh, I'd say he's a uh, mm -hmm. medium to large. Okay. Okay, in size. He's probably one of the, well, except for the gladiator cock and then the, the son of Thomas Six. Okay. They're kind of in this size. But this is one bird right here that, uh, to me, he's very well put together. He's like uh, one piece. Okay. Okay. Um, right now, his wings are molting, so he's yeah. missing... He's missing two flights, of so course. you're not gonna you're not gonna see a full win. Of on course, him. he's missing two flights at least, but he has all the quality in the breeding cock. Okay, yeah, that's that one. Look at that, square feathers, square feathers, and the steps all right also. Handles really really nice. Mm -hmm. Very alert pigeon. One pin tail, no step. Uh huh. On it. Body on them. Nice. The muscles on them. Awesome. I mean, they're just like I said. He's uh, he's he's becoming one of my top breeder. Guys, this is the the Porsche Prince Porsche USA. Prince Porsche USA. Yeah. So. Well, I a, don't know a, why I say Porsche, but Porsche. Yeah, he's a son of a Prince Porsche. Prince Porsche. Look at this. Curious, really alert. Very alert. Like always look, been like that. Since, always uh, looking. He was a baby. The first time I saw him in a video when he was a baby, uh huh. Uh, he was like that. Uh, it was a it was a good description. Curious, right? Like looking the surroundings and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I had the opportunity to hold this champion. Fantastic breeder. This He's is a foundation. Yeah, two of his uh, grandchildren at the Royal Cup, been twice, first or equal first. Uh huh. And uh, the guy, uh, the No Limit uh, Pigeon Loft, uh -huh. uh, No Limit Loft, he's won um, about $140,000 out of his grandchildren. You know what I like with this? It's like the other one, the Gladiator and Porsche, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or Porsche. It's big, it's so, it's like triangle, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not heavy. That, that's the number one thing. Yeah. And look at this. They're very light, and the the, the 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 touch is so smooth. The feather quality is. It's like on holding a, a silk. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Ooh. Well, they, then again, that goes with the health. Yeah. You know, keeping the birds healthy. Um, the way you feed them, feed the way them. you take they care of them. They eat once a day. They don't get no exercise. They just fly here up and down. You know, but uh, but I mean, they're you got to keep them healthy. So when they're it's time for breeding. Uh huh. Yeah. So he, he, here's the number one thing that I realized. I noticed. I held lots of you know birds already, right? Most of the champion birds they don't want to be held. A lot of them are feisty. They're really feisty. And you know the number one feisty bird that I've held. I think you know Craig Nidiber. Oh, Craig Nidiber. Yes, I know him very well. His Jamal Jansen's. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be held at all. Well, thank you for letting me hold this. I'm gonna let it go. There you I'm go. gonna show you another one, which is a superstar, and this is the direct son of the Porsche 911. Uh, I caught. He goes by the name of Amazing Porsche, uh -huh. and he's been uh, he's been a really good one for me. Direct from um, direct from FIFA FIFA. also. Yes. Again, super quality on these birds. So we're gonna show this one. Yeah. These pigeons are very po very well put together. Uh huh. Um, but look at that. But let me tell you, the 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 blue color, the feather of the f the one that I held, is more pure blue. This one has kind of a little bit of pencil. Pencil. There they, you go. They get that from the gladiator. Yeah. Oh, they got it from the gladiator. Yes. Yes. See that one. Look at that feather. Yeah. So, so this bird right here is uh, is father, grandfather to uh, now a lot of winners. Mm -hmm. uh, people are reporting me uh, winning with uh, his daughters and stuff like that. So, so it's it's been really special, and uh, and this is a son of 911.
right here. Wow. The wrecked son of nine, the famous 9-11. The wrecked son. The wrecked son. Awesome. So, so of course I should. You got to handle one. him because. Um, <laughs> you know him, right? <laughs> oh, this one is perfect, man. Like, like that steps. Look at that. And this one is done molting, right? Or yeah, yeah. This one is a little bit more. Yeah, it's just a yeah. number ten flight. I yeah. can tell that still have a blood, if ever. Yeah, we uh, we kind of finish a little late in the breeding with them this year, and um, and so they're finishing it up. But I normally don't pair my birds till like um, uh, early January anyway. Uh huh. Yeah, so I, I don't do the Thanksgiving then. So this is so close. The bone very here, tight bands. very tight bands. They're yeah. amazing. I mean, they're just and then here like, they're like at, welded together. Look at the bone here. It's so short, man. It's like you know. It, yeah, it's not too long of a. Uh, he's not a long caster. Uh, yeah. The other one, uh, Prince Port USA, is a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, he's not too long. Yeah, but it's like you know, it's all balance. If you think of, if you if you feel, I wish you could feel this one, you know, guys, and look at this. Yeah, he's been special. It's been really, really special. My hands are already sweating because kind of like, you know, excited holding these birds. But the, the, silky, the silky feel of it, it's still there. And of mm -hmm. course, square, ready to breed. Yeah, father, father and grandfather to a lot of winners already in the United States. So this is a direct son of 9-11. Son of 9-11, guys. I have the opportunity to hold. I'll show um, you uh, uh, the bird that I call the uh, Porsche Panamera and he's a uh, uh, he's a uh, uh, a full brother to Gentle Lady. Gentle Lady was a pigeon that I that, uh, was uh, fourth eco first at the uh, uh, the uh, South Africa million dollar race okay and when they when they won in the South Africa million dollar race uh, at that moment uh, I was talking to uh, Nicholas uh, maybe about a, a month or so later and um, that's how I decided to give me a couple of children. Okay. And then this one already, this one bred uh, many winners as well. And uh, he's a father to uh, Nico first at Lelton's, that, that's for cash. Yeah. So, but his offsprings, his babies, uh, also breeding. And this, he's a monster, man. Not, not because he's big, just the, the way he feels, you know like steel nice. so really nice really special one too uh this year i'm keeping one of his daughter uh -huh. to breed myself okay because um like i said his children are breeding winners as well here in mexico uh-huh uh so another special one that i i really I, you know i talk about him a lot too because he's uh, like i said he's been really good one for me yeah so you want to handle this one? Oh yes, sir. Of course. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit bigger, but um, oh yeah, I also can tell. Strong. Man, I can tell this is like this is the biggest one that I. This one is big, but it the the, the weight kind of kind of heavy than the other. A little heavier. A little heavier, yeah. but it it makes sense because it's so big, but again, it's not heavy as other birds that you know what's the name of this bird Porsche Panamera I would call him macho, <laughs> macho. <laughs> <laughs> so so this is a really nice one so if you're gonna pair this with a hen what would you consider uh, normally um, uh, I, would, I got good results out of him and uh, and uh, daughter uh, granddaughter of uh, the short bed bloodline uh-huh um, also uh, what I've been doing with them, the most that I've been doing is uh, I also got some good results with um, um, Hardy Kruger, Black okay. Power. And, and you, uh, you're going to show us that? Uh, I got I got a little bit of that too. Um, let me show you one more. Okay. The, this one is uh, uh, another son of the Prince Porch. Uh huh. And uh, I call him. Let me show. His this. name is. Uh, his name is uh, Fernand Porch. Uh huh. And uh, Fernand Porch is the. Uh, the old man that created the porch cars, you know? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. It's nice. So, so this is a white flight pencil. Uh -huh. Am so, I correct? Yes, that's correct. White flight pencil. They get that from the Gladiator. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a, a bird that I purchased for 21000 
Ooh. in a Canadian auction. Really? So, of course, I have to hold that one. This is a twenty-one thousand bird. Twenty-one thousand dollar Canadian. Canadian, yeah. which is like more. Uh, no, it's less than. Oh, in U.S. is less, less, but uh, it's still <laughs> it's still <laughs> a lot of money in U.S. Oh, this one is big and also light. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. The the last. It's we almost just, almost we, the same. Mm, we just brought him. Um, we just brought him this year. So uh -huh. so basically, all we have done with him is just inbreeding. Yeah. We haven't uh, um, been uh, racing out of him yet. Um, so. So uh, as soon as I got them, you know, people hit me up right away. Uh -huh. They wanted some babies off of them, and that's what I did. I bred some. And uh, I don't know if this video will come out before the auction, but we have one. When will be the auction? Uh, on the 9th. On the 9th? Of well, December. I, I will try my best to edit it right away. And but uh, what I was getting at is a son of him in the uh, Bider King auction. Uh -huh. That is perfect. I mean, as a son of him when he was made it to his half sister. So you know why I'm pushing it here while doing this because he doesn't want to be held. Oh no, they're they're feisty. They're really they really don't want to uh, be held. See, one of the qualities. Correct me if I'm wrong, Yanis. Okay, um, the the step or the the four flight should be always almost even. Uh, you're gonna find that on these birds. Uh, they're they're actually um, um, they're actually one day long distance pigeons. Yeah. So you're gonna find those flights like that because look at them, that a lot of them uh, it's almost the same almost the same yeah uh, size, size. Yeah. yeah yeah so and which one that's one of the good it's, qualities it's good that, it's that good quality on them yes uh, yeah. to have those uh, kind of feathers like that look at this oh yeah the, he's uh, on his uh, his body is all those muscles in there it's I mean, nice he just, he's a lot better than when he came in you know yeah. uh, but now this is his first year that he's fully molted out here in my so home. you already bred him yes only for inbreeding so you mentioned that you will have uh, December nine uh, on the auction on the Vita King uh, auction. There mm -hmm. will be a direct son of him and uh, his uh, half sister who has also produced for me already. Uh huh. So it's a it's a direct son of him in so, that auction. So people will have the opportunity Oppor to have the kids of this. Yes, a double grandson of the porch nine. Uh, the my, excuse me, my uh, Prince porch. Double Look grandson the, of Prince porch. Look at porch. the eye. Yes. There you go. Nice. Yeah, they're they're really nice, uh, and they and they throw back to the gladiator, uh -huh. so they kind of they kind of look like the gladiator bloodline. This is a, a son of Blade. Uh -huh. Blade is a oh yeah man, where's uh, Blade? Uh, he's here, he's there, but oh, there uh, you go. Or maybe that's a son of him. Uh, oh, this is the son of Blade. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. But he's he's already getting old, and he can barely walk now. Uh, the cop. so like it like this one. But this one is a a son of Blade. Uh huh. And uh, this is Blade Picasso. So oh, you can wow. see all those the waddles, and uh, you can see all that. Uh huh. They they look more like a older yeah. type of breed, you know. And where's Blade? The see, the uh, infamous. The, it's a black cockbird. The famous Blade. Let me see if uh, this one. He's he's already old. What's uh, the what is the year of Blade? He's a 2010. He's he's a grandson of the uh, Lavella. Wow. The old foundation breeding hand that I had. Wow. Yeah. And he's been father grandfather great-grandfather to many many champions and for other people too nice. not just for me so i know some people don't like the black pigeons but um what an special pigeon right here this is a pearl eye mm -hmm. the color came from uh, uh one of our club members mm -hmm. and uh this is a distance pigeon they can fly wow. the distance so you can see those flights yeah yes that's blade here is Blade, man. This, this is the infamous. This is exactly this is the, Blade, in, the infamous Blade. And then that's Shadow. Shadow is his nest mate brother, the so one that is laying down. So they're both 2010. And um, as you can see, they're, they now they lay down because yeah, their feet hurt, old. you know. And uh, this pan the metal yeah. is a little bit rough on uh, yeah. on all older pigeons. Yeah. So, but, and this is a new Blade. This is the new Blade. New Blade. He's already father to uh, uh, winners already this year. Because you have the, the family of blades, right? Yes, I do. I do. So. Shadow is still fertile or no yeah. more? Shadow, Shadow is still fertile, but uh, he's also... You can, you can see that he's, um, he's already... Uh, uh, he's messed up one of his flights. You can see he's already getting up on H as well, too. Yeah. And but still uh, making babies, huh? 
Yeah, we got a daughter of him and a daughter of Blade. So Shadow made it to a daughter of Blade. She's uh -huh. flying on the race team and also been doing really, really good nice. this year. If I'm not mistaken, she's in the top 10 for Champion Bird. Uh -huh. And it's a black pigeon. Wow. In the club. So, also pretty much the same. It's nest made to Blade. Nest made to Blade. Ne nest made. And he produced Champion Bird as well, too. And do you have a, the, the young, what is, which is, which one here, the youngest family of Blades? Um, the last year that I, I was able to get babies from him, from Blade, uh -huh. uh, it was 2018. So I had sold this one that I call now a new Blade. I contacted the guy and I brought him back. Oh. So this is Blade made it back to his daughter. Oh, okay. And now I'm calling him New Blade. New Blade. Is this, this the year, one that you posted yeah, recently? New Blade. He's yeah. the one that he produced already a first place this year. Uh huh. Well, uh, you know what? On I a really, really tough race. So look at these birds' wings. Yeah. Look at those pointy uh, three yeah. flights. Pigeons right there, they can handle four, five, six hundred mile races. Yeah, they long, are light. Long distance. They're light, man. Mm -hmm. They're light. They're a little bit big, um, uh -huh. but they're light and uh, they're balanced. They got good muscles on them. Uh, the feathers, the, the, the wings are very, very long wings on them. That's what I like. Look yeah. at that. So that's, uh, that's going to be the youngest one. Uh, uh -huh. that I have out of him and in 2018 was the last year that he bred. So can you tell us this section? Okay, so these sections are uh, my breeding hens. Okay. And um, uh, we got some special birds in here. Then of course, you know, they're, they're going to be the matings to, to some of the cock birds. That, and uh, we got some kiddos. We got some of my foundation breedings. We got a little bit of the Hardy Krugers. Um, and uh, also we got some of the Picasso blood line. Mm -hmm. And you have a pure white in here, huh? Uh, yeah, that's a baby uh, out of... Um, but that's not a dropper, right? No, no. She's a, she's a granddaughter of the 911. Are you serious? And a granddaughter of seven from so Jelly Rosier. It produced pure white? Yes. Nice. And um, we bred her for stock. Whoa. So nice. she's, uh, she went directly into the breeding loft. Look at that the, one. Because of the breeding. It's a baby, 2023, born you know in uh, July. Somebody from Corpus Christi, I know that will ask you about that for sure. <laughs> yeah, I posted up on Facebook and I said, uh, not for sale. Somebody, somebody I know. Yeah. So, so this is a Porsche 911. And seven. And seven. Seven, from Jelly Rosier. Wow. Baby too. So finishing the wings, you can see you only got four. Four, four flights, I mean eight flights uh -huh. total. So this is 2023? 2023, yes. Wow. Look. It's a baby, it's, uh, she was uh, hatched uh, I think in July. In July, uh -huh. so not even six months old. Wow. Let me, let me hold that, please. So from my son of 911, from Amazing Porch, made it to a daughter of wow. uh, seven. A strong bird. Uh -huh. Well, Chief Soilo Lam Texon, this is your white bird now. <laughs> you have to contact Yanis. <laughs> He's from Corpus Christi. Yeah. He loves white birds, you know. Yeah, she's uh, almost solid white. I only got one I know, black. Only uh, like this one. One this black uh, uh, and the tail feather, yeah. one black feather. But look, see that even though it's young, it's still showing one pin tail. Oh, yeah, no. Balance. They got to show that from the nest. I know. That shouldn't, that shouldn't change. Nice. <laughs> Balance don't change. Balance don't cha don't change. This is uh, uh, Miss uh, Rosita. Oh, Miss Rosita. She's uh, she's in the Kiro bloodline, and um, this is the birds that I cross. The Kiros I cross them into the Porsche 911. Uh huh. And uh, this is where I've been winning at the one loft way, uh, one loft race as well too. The and babies of this. Babies of uh, this. I like the I like the swaddle. Mm -hmm. That caught my attention. So these birds are a little bit more muscular and bigger, uh -huh. but you're also going to find that they're not as heavy either. Yeah. But these are uh, sprint pigeons. Wow. They're short distance pigeons. Nice. And uh, she's a mother to uh, two winners at the Cuevas Classic. We had a, a bird that placed eighth at the Hoosier Classic, and not in the final race, but in the fir uh, first race. And what is the bloodline again? I'm sorry. Kittle. Kittle. They uh, normally, um, yes, they're, they're normally a little bit bigger, but they're light too 
on weight. Oh yeah, that's and, what I uh, noticed. And also the babies, uh, when you cross them to a uh -huh. different breed, the babies don't come out as big. But let me tell you something, Yanis. If, if you don't tell me that this is a hen, you wouldn't believe it is. I wouldn't believe yeah. you. I, they, I, they I mean, are. I wouldn't believe it. I mean, this is, looks like a cock. Yes. But it you know sure what, does. You know what caught my attention? I like the clean swaddle of this. Oh, yeah. The, that's tell you how healthy the pigeon is. Yeah, and also the shape. It's like, mm -hmm. this is a kittle. Up and down? Kittle from Bandung Bok. Is it up and down kittle? The uh, parents? Up, up and down. Inbred. 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 Yeah. Nice. So the famous kittle from uh, Belgium? Yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, she's, uh, she's actually a, grand, a granddaughter to a full brother to Kiro, which is uh, Grapo. Grapo was another outstanding breeder. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. And uh, the bird that won two days ago for me at the California Classic, uh -huh. it had some of that bloodline in it. This is, so uh, this is the mom? Uh, the one that you, uh, you handle over there mm -hmm. with a lot of white. This is uh, a really, she's been a really good breeder for me and for other people as well too. Uh-huh. Um, is this a direct from Pipa also? It is, uh, but she's a grand, double granddaughter of the Porsche 911. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, I call her uh, Splash Porch. Splash Porch. Yes. It's a pencil, huh? Pencil. Throws a lot of pencil. Yeah. Uh, her children's been producing winners uh -huh. for other people. Nice. With different cocks. Man, uh, it's like I'm holding a paper. A paper? <laughs> like a light? Like super light. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not um, heavy. Look at that. Look at that four flights. Mm -hmm. Man, just perfect. The balance. Look at that. How I wish, guys, you can hold these birds, you know. You, you're going to be inspired. <laughs> yeah, they, they're good quality pigeons. Is it a Porsche also? It is. Yeah, they're all gonna be all splashed like this here. Yeah. Yeah, because they got all all that white in them. Yeah. So this one is uh, uh, Dolly Queen. Uh -huh. So it's uh, from the porch. It's a granddaughter of 911. Uh huh. Uh, also direct from Pipa Elite Center. Uh huh. They were all. They all came in at the same time. All these 2019 birds. Okay. They all came in together. They're really nice. This one when made it to. Um, uh, when made it to the son of Pri uh, Prince Porch, Prince uh -huh. Porch USA, uh, their children has produced uh, a lot of winners for other people too. Okay. You know? So, oh, this one is medium, like me not the me medium size, medium a little size. longer, little yeah. longer cast. It's kind of yeah. They also they actually have the uh, the Dali Dali bloodline in her, which is uh, something that people uh, uh -huh. had in their breeding as well too. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they're a little long, a little longer. Longer cast. Yeah. They are solid eyes. Yeah, so do, do, do you believe in that they say solid eyes like this, uh, pair them with pearl eye? No, not really. Uh, uh, she's produced good with a uh, yellow eye. Yellow eye. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> like like what we said, like in a result, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to show you a, a direct daughter of 911. They just came in. Um, she came in in the, uh, she came in in the, in the summer. Uh-huh. Um, so it's a, it's um, she only been here in America for just a few months. Wow. So, so this one is not a, not a pied. No, uh, it kind of has a little pencil. Pencil, yeah. A little bit. But this is the, the, the direct daughter of 9-11. Direct daughter. Daughter. When it was mated to a full sister to uh -huh. the father of 9-11. So really? it's a, it's a auntie nephew so, mating. So that's an inbred. Inbred, yes. Here. Look at that one. Really nice, small pigeon, uh -huh. but uh, I mean, look at those muscles. Look at this bird. So this is like what year? 20? Uh, 21. 2021. Yeah, 2021. Well, perfect for breeding already. Yes, uh, uh, but like I said, I already got some babies so far. I got two babies. Oh, okay. With a brother with a 911 cock. Nice. Yeah, so. So up and down 911. Yeah, she came in in, the, in August, I think. At yes. the beginning of August. This one, I'm not going to be mistaken. I can tell this is a real hen. <laughs> because those others are like kind of big. So this go back to my uh, blade family. Okay. And uh, this is a grizzle that flew in Old Bird uh, uh, 2022 and 2023. Uh -huh. And this year she was a third champion bird. 
but and over the two years, she uh, she got over, she got 14, 15 diplomas. Uh -huh. So 15 times in the point. So correct me if I'm wrong, that it has a Muleman blood. It has a little bit of that. It also has some Van Loon in it. Uh -huh. And it has some of the blade bloodline in it as well. And it's got some of the old family too in it. Because but it also got uh -huh. uh, Ludo Clausen. Because the characteristic. That's what the, her mother is white, almost white. Oh, but this it's a grizzle. Mom. Yeah, that's a grizzle. From directly from the uh, Alpha Ludo Clausen pigeons. Because the characteristic of. Uh, but this one, it was on my race team, and yeah. uh, we, we kept her for breeding now. This is big, but you know. A little bit bigger. It's yeah, like a little just, bit bigger. Just like uh, medium, medium size. Medium, medium. In between of the. Yeah, medium size, but. But that's a race bird, so she was a uh, she was uh, flown, and uh, club she, race, she right? Flew, she flew in uh, four four times five hundred miles. The color is nice, grizzle. Yeah. Yanis, for sure, somebody gonna contact you about this one <laughs> because sure? I know some people loves grizzle. Well, those are good grizzles. And what about this one? This one is a daughter of Prince Porch, and this is a grandmother to a lot of uh, already a lot of money winner. Uh huh. And. Uh, and breeder for uh, quite a few people too. So this is uh, the the one, the first uh, daughter of Prince Port that uh, I imported as mm -hmm. well to the U.S. in, in 2009, 19, nice. my bad, in 2019. You can you can tell the birds are healthy because look at look at Yanis' uh, oh, yeah. uh, sweater, <laughs> the powder. So yes. Uh, this, this is uh, this Porsche. looks like the other one, huh? Yeah, Porsche Princess. Oh, this one is like really light. She's a medium size. Medium size, light. Um, but um, like an apple body, huh? Mm -hmm. Compared from the other birds, it's like you know longer cast, mm -hmm. but this one is an apple. So that's a uh, Porsche Princess. Porsche Princess. Uh huh. And uh, the red daughter of Porsche, uh, Prince Porsche. The red uh, daughter. She, yes. And she's always been here since uh, she came to the United States. Oh, this is also direct. Direct. Yes. My gosh. So um, I know I have some pedigrees out there. People that bought some birds from me and they put them in for sale and everything. But uh, I bred those birds as well too. That's they nice. just got different band numbers on them. So this one is from us. Uh, she's the daughter of Thomas Six and Porch. So Thomas Six made it to a, a, a full sister to Porch 911. Uh -huh. Nice. Really nice hand. Awesome. Uh, but she was bred in uh, Belgium as well. So this is from Belgium also? Yes. Before Thomas Six came to the United States, they did some co-breeding in Belgium. Uh -huh. And this is one of them. I got two. Really nice quality on this pigeon, also from 2019 as well. But uh, I brought her. Produce some winners also. Yeah, I brought her like uh, a couple of years back. Nice. Yeah, this one is uh, already grandmother to a first place in China. Daughter of Thomas Six. Daughter of when Thomas Six. When it was made it to a full sister to 911. So the, the year is 2019. Yes. Just perfect for breeding. And then the cock that I have from uh, direct out of Thomas Six. Uh huh. Um, it's a full brother to the grandmother on the top side of the uh, the Hoosier first place winner this year. Wow. From And um, I got them over there on the other side. So I don't I'm, know I'm, why I'm so attracted with this type of color, like, you know. They're, the, they're the beautiful. I mean, they, yeah. they, I mean those kind of uh, splash, you know, some people don't yeah. like them, but uh, people that who, who like them, like myself, I love them. Yeah, for I me, like, I, I like all in splash. I love it. But, I mean, they're attracted to hawks, but, um, it uh, doesn't mean that they, they, they you know, they, they don't, they fly, so they fly really good, you know? So. Correct, <laughs> and I like the body. The body on those, yes. Nice. This is uh, Miss, Good, Miss Good Friday. Uh-huh. Uh, this is the bird that won $70,000 for, for me at the, at the um, um, Big, Big Andes International One Love Race in okay. Florida. Okay. Uh, and then just this, uh, this, this weekend uh, in the Royal Cup, I had a, a bird in the money out of her. Mm -hmm. From what her and the gladiator cock. Awesome. But uh, it didn't score big money, but it was still in the money. Oh, still a money, you know, money yeah. bird. She's more of a buoyant body owner. Uh -huh. Very strong. 
her mother was the same way. So she got all these muscles right here. Yeah. But this pigeon flew um, in the Big Andes race. I think mm -hmm. it was like uh, a little over 2,000 yards per minute race. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because uh, uh, the California Classic turned out to be a 1,900 yards per minute race. Mm -hmm. And her children was in the money. So, I mean, I don't know something about the speed or what it is. The but climate. Uh, or the weather, I should say. So she's a granddaughter of Picasso, mm -hmm. the famous Picasso, and also has some of the blue blue million uh, bloodline in it from uh, uh, Dijkstra. No, Dijkstra, my bad, uh, uh, Peter Venstra. Apple body. Yeah. It's nice. So I still got some of her children's out in uh, one loft races. We'll see how they do this year. Uh, already one of them already won a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. So something to, to, to continue to work you with, you know? This one, this one was the second, second ace pigeon. Uh, second ace pigeon in 2019, flying in the club, in the mm -hmm. association. Nice. From our foundation, uh, Silver Pigeons. Yeah, 790, New Vela. Her name is New Vela. Looks, just looks like the, 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 the bird that you let me hold. Yeah, because they're the same family. Yeah. So maybe she's a, she's a grandmother to the one that I let you hold. Yeah. But this is a granddaughter to the original foundation breed. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this one is buoyant, man. Uh -huh. I mean, this is so light. Cute. Look at that. The flights are mm -hmm. like the tip. So this is like what, middle distance? No, uh, this, this pigeon can fly all the way to 500 miles. 500 yes. miles. Yes. And this red one, she flew in a she flew in a uh, uh, one loft race uh -huh. last year, and uh, Tony Cuevas, and uh, she w she had several time equal first in the in the short races. So what's the line of this one? Uh, Kittle. Kittle. And uh, Black Power oh, from wow. uh, Hardy Kruger. Hardy Kruger. Yeah. And uh, I got a red, I got a red cockbird in uh, in the in the Cuevas Classic this year out of her. Uh huh. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if he do any good. Man, everything that I hold here are so nice. <laughs> it's just really nice. Ready to breed. I mean, it's a breeder already. Oh no, 2022. Yeah, she, br she bred, uh, uh, I only bred three babies out of her this three year. Three babies. Yeah. That's really nice. Still got one and one love rate, so we'll see how they do. Wow. Well, so Yanis, thank you so much for sure. letting us be here and show us your breeders having a one-on-one -on -one interview. What is your advice to our viewers, especially to the new flyers who wants to get involved in this type of hobby? Uh, I always ask for a uh, club or for one love race? Let's go to, for the club first. Well, I, I always think um, um, when you're, you're gonna get involved in clubs yes, sir. and you're in the area, my advice is to go in your area and find some of the best flyers mm -hmm. and try to acquire some of their bloodlines. Okay. That'll, that'll actually cut down your time, your, uh, you know, many years of breeding mm -hmm. because you're getting tough. But also, um, nothing comes for free. Sometimes Correct. people give you a, uh, a good pigeon, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's going to cost you money. Correct. Uh, so my advice is to go to somebody that is a really well-known flyer in the area mm -hmm. and hopefully this person can either help you out or even sell you something at a good price, reasonable, right. that is going gonna, is gonna to be some good bloodline. Uh, that's, that's what I would do. Now, going to the one law phrase, I would go look around okay. and try to purchase some of the bloodlines that are winning in one law phrase or somebody that is doing const constantly good results, okay. contact that person and okay. try to get some of their, their, their bloodline, at least one pair, two mm -hmm. pair. Yeah, somebody that is doing good results. And most of the time, you know, in club racing, uh, there are club members who are so willing to help, right? They are, they are. Yeah, to start off yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, they are, and you're always gonna get people that, that help you uh, from their heart, you know, uh -huh. and they give you good stuff. Okay. And uh, that's the opportunity. Sometimes a, a gift pigeon uh -huh. is worth more than a pigeon that you can pay thousands of dollars for. Okay. Yeah. But when the gift 
is given from the heart when it's given Correct. right. Correct. You know, uh, sometimes people uh, might give you a couple of birds. It happened to me before in the past when mm -hmm. I started, and um, it was good faith behind it, but yeah. um, they weren't giving the best. Okay. You know, because they were giving it away. Yeah. But sometimes, like I said, if it comes from the heart, yeah, and and they and they tell you, hey, I'm giving you from the best of me, mm -hmm. then you must believe it. Correct. You know. And uh, and that's that's what I would do. I would uh, uh, because you can go and purchase pigeons and go and get on uh, on websites and buy birds, but uh, at the end you're probably gonna end up buying quite a few birds that they're not gonna be worth buying yes. them in the area. And of course, you know our project raising pigeons for military veterans. It's an emotional support for our military veterans, right? Yes. Who suffers from mental and emotional problems because of their previous service mm -hmm. and you are more than willing to help if there's a new flyer around the area that yeah. you know to start off right oh yeah for sure for sure yeah we always like i said we always give back to the sport Correct. i don't just take 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 and don't give nothing back i Correct. always you know always help out with uh, like i said a donation here there here and there you know so yeah because we all must give back to the sport correct that's what that's what, that's how i think uh, uh and and uh, trust me when i uh when i donate something yes to any kind of a uh, auction or any kind of uh, uh anything that is going they come and ask me for a donation i try to give some of the best that we have Correct. you know and uh, and i think uh that's the only way that we're going to help the sport well know? thank you so much again sir and thank you for participating to rpmb project previous fundraising auction and more power to you and more power to your one love race thank you thank you thank you for uh, uh coming and doing all this interview uh, it's my pleasure to do it so and uh, uh we'll see you next time yes sir happy flying yep happy flying to everybody <laughs>